So one of the power plants in the car is a jet engine off a Eurofighter Typhoon. That jet engine needs fuel in order to run. Um, next week we're going to be going down to Newquay to test the fuel systems for the jet engine. In the car we've got two cases really. We've got the case where the car is accelerating and the case where the car is decelerating. So to simulate it we're going to tilt the chassis from both ends. Um, that will make the fuel in the fuel tank sit at the angle that we should be seeing during the run, or 1,000 miles an hour run for the car. So one of the challenges for the fuel system for Bloodhound SSC is the transition between acceleration and deceleration. It might be assumed that at the end of the measured mile Andy cuts the engines and cruises to a halt, but in actual fact the engine needs to continue running because the air that is consuming, that if the engine wasn't running, it would spill across the front of the car and the car then become unstable. So we needed to arrange a system that would trap the fuel at the back of the tank where it had been pushed under acceleration so it could then be used for the deceleration phase. And obviously this is a shakedown test of the entire system itself, the sensors. Um, what mustn't be forgotten is the fill procedure for the uh, fuel system itself because we're limited on time at the turnaround we want to be able to do that as quickly as possible so um, from what we've seen here it looks good um, we can fill it in just under five minutes might even be able to do it faster with a slightly better pump but um, that's good for the thousand miles an hour run case the car will sit there and idle while Stanley does his checks so that's where this lower chassis behind me is flat he then goes, uh, throws up the jet engine to max dry, which is not using reheat on the jet engine. Then he'll switch to reheat, which is where we see this lower chassis behind me at about 40 degrees tilt. And then after a little bit, he'll engage the rocket. So that's the rocket with the reheated jet engine. And that's where you see the 60 degrees tilt now. Uh, then you get a sudden switchover case where he suddenly stops accelerating, cuts the rocket out, cuts the jet engine, and then we go from plus G to suddenly to minus 3G, um, which is where we have to tilt the chassis in the opposite direction to 70 degrees. That's slightly harder to replicate here. Obviously on the car that happens in a matter of seconds. Nevertheless, we're still happy with the way it went, and I think that we can be reasonably confident this system's going to work in the car. Space one for next.